Hi guys, how are you? Today I will take you along with me because I planned a lot of things to do and I'll explain that one by one a little bit later for you. I got Poopy here. Say hi Poopy. Before I start today, I'm going to check in my planner, kind of listing out everything I want to do today. I don't know why I was so exhausted last night. So this morning I just let myself sleep in. I didn't woke up until 9 a.m., which is very late for me. But today is a Saturday. Uh, but still, I have a lot of work needs to get it done. So I'm going to get the day started. And also, guys, I'm a mess right now. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. My room is covered with mess um, and my desk as well. Oh, I saw my coffee right there. Let's go get the coffee. I can't believe I let my coffee sit on the bookshelf for such a long time. And it's getting a little bit cold. Right, so I'm having a lot of messy stuff in my room right now um, because I don't know if you remember from my previous vlogs that I was packing stuff to ship it to China for my friends. It's her luggage and stuff like that. Um, that didn't work out. Um, I packed the stuff and uh, apparently the shipping company say I have to take out all the book uh, that's in English and uh, also taking out all the records in there so you can't ship records um, and I think there's a few stuff oh and then you can't ship uh, film uh, which she has a lot of film uh, when I mean film I mean the, the film film the still photo film that's developed uh, you can't ship that uh, because they don't really know what's the content in there I think it's like what <laughs> poopy Poopy. Yeah, I don't know the specific reason of it, but I think it's a lot to do with uh, intellectual property of transferring across the border, stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to have to take those stuff out. So right now, all the boxes are just piling in my room and it's really getting in the way, but that's okay. Um, I want to try to get to do that clean that too today and then later in the afternoon i have um my filmmaker friend alex and leo they come from new york and then come to la so we kind of have a film festival gathering it's a bunch of um filmmakers that we met in film festival that we're going to gather in LA today because they are coming visit and I haven't met them in person yet. We became friends through internet, have a lot of Zoom chats, um, support each other when we release film. So today I'm very excited to meet them. And uh, yeah, let's get the day started. And um, I'm going to start working on my planner. By the way, I also got myself a smoothie. That's a blueberry smoothie with like nuts and um, I don't even know what's in there. I didn't make it. <laughs> anyway. It seems like someone wants to come into this room. Oh. Okay. Naughty. All right, let me quickly share with you how I use my planner. So basically each day I will write down three top tasks. Uh, it will be things that I want to get it done. So if I can get this three thing done, and then if I can't get anything else, so that's totally fine. I'm having a blast day already. Um, so basically that's how it works. On the side will be other tasks that I hope I can get it done. And then if I couldn't get to them, that's totally okay. Usually when I put the read here, that's because I want to um, spend extra time for reading. Today, the problem is I borrowed a book from library and it's due today. 
um, I haven't get a chance to finish reading it um, so I was thinking trying to catch up but I really don't think I can finish it yeah that's pretty much how I do my daily planning uh, it's very simple very straightforward I just want to be focused on the top three thing that's all okay now let's get the writing started oh one more thing I think I didn't mention this to you but I rearranged my desk so now my desk is right here that's on this bookshelf i still need to i told you a mess i still need to organize down there but right now i basically add a piece of board right here to make the bookshelf a little bit wider to keep my monitor here uh the monitor used to be here on this side where this bookshelf is the reason i swapped them because i can't focus on towards this side i feel i can't sit that long and then um, while i'm facing this side doing any kind of work editing or anything i felt my attention is drawing to this side i don't know if it's because the window is here because this window is higher so when i sit down i can't see through the window but maybe because this window is here and there may be something about the nature um of being a human being oh, the lights so bad maybe something about being a human that i just feel really drawn that want to face this direction so i give it a try um, i swapped the monitor to this side and uh, it worked it worked like a charm like i can sit in front of this computer for hours without really get like those unsettled feeling like I feel that's what I want to do I feel very comfortable uh, my eyes are drawn towards outside the window while I'm thinking just overall I have much longer attention span when I sit in front of this side so now it's going to be permanently sitting on this side now and I'm very happy about the swap anyway lots of chatting I have to start working now because I think I already wasted an entire hour. When I'm doing vlog, uh, my schedule tend to kind of drag a little bit longer because of a lot of talking and then camera setup, stuff like that. Yeah, all the vlogs you've seen other people do, it's probably not real. The time frame is probably not real because you're going to spend a lot of time setting up camera and talking to camera. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to set up this camera start my writing now i'm about to start my writing and now i want to share this with you so i got this um loop it's um kind of um earplug help you block out the sound um it's very comfortable so i start using it um often very often because i want to block out the sound in my household and the outside i want to have those quiet moments when i'm writing it kind of feels similar if you have those noise canceling headphones and then you put it on and the feeling is pretty much the same uh it's just this doesn't have like um, something kind of stuck on my head the whole time um, I do have a noise cancelling headphone and that's what I used to use and now I'm using this so that's what I'm trying to do now is to be more focused by myself have my little me and my thought time Okay, I'm done with the writing for now. Um, it's not great today. Uh, it hasn't been perfect lately, my writing session. Uh, all I can do is to keep showing up each day for the schedule of time. Um, the reason that I'm kind of struggling lately because I'm actually restructuring the story right now. So I'm starting from the first page again because when I wrote my first act for the last draft, I realized it's not working. There are very interesting things here and there, but overall for a beginning of the film, it's not that interesting. I kind of stuck for several days and then came up with this idea of restructuring the timeline. So basically the story is going to be the same, everything uh, it's still there, but I'm going to reorganize them a little bit in terms of sharing 
what information and withheld what information. And then hopefully those information withheld can make it more interesting. Basically right now I'm restarting to write from the beginning again with a new order of things and uh, that kind of a little bit difficult. I find that writing beginnings are always very difficult until you kind of get into the flow of the story. Anyway, and right now I'm thinking about going to stable or office depot to print a picture because today I'm going to meet uh, my filmmaker friend Alex and Leo for the first time in person. I want to bring something for them. Uh, their film called um, Sexplanation. It's very successful. It's very funny. It's a documentary. I was thinking I want to bring something representing their film. And then they have like those little characters they always bring to all the film festival they went to. So I asked my friend uh, Sky to help me draw the characters in Sky's style. She is a really good illustrator and also singer. So she just sent me the picture that she drew. It was really cute. Um, now I'm thinking I'm going to print it out and then frame it uh, so I can bring it to the surprise Alex and Leo. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And um, I'm gonna just head out and find some lunch as well. Glossy. I don't know if you want oh, to try it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Which one the colors most? I, I like this. I mean, if you want to touch the paper, I like this one better. Okay, now I'll do this. You want to try this one? Yeah. Thank you. The picture is um, skin color. Do you think that it's a little too pale for that? Mm hmm. I need to find something darker, huh? I want this one. This is perfect for me. This one for me too. Uh oh, end up picking stuff for myself. <laughs> That's why I don't come to the target. Don't come to the target. That's mine now. Oh, that's totally mine now. The picture printed and I bought a picture frame for it um, and then also I couldn't help but also bought a picture frame for myself as well I'm not even going to change the picture I just saw it's um, San Francisco uh, because the story that I'm writing half of it happening in San Francisco so I just want to have this Golden Gate Bridge picture and hang right in front of maybe somewhere here so I can look at it um, while I'm writing. Um, I'm going to frame the picture um, and then go to get ready to leave soon actually. Uh, it's pretty late. It's um, 1.30 already. Um, I'm meeting them in Culver City, um, which is really far from me. So initially I was working today. Um, I had a day job uh, supposed to happen from five o'clock. Is the lighting sharp? Okay, maybe this is better. I had a day job from supposedly happening from 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. So I thought if I got up at 3, if I write for an hour before my day job, the day will be super long before I go to meet my friends. So I decide to ask other people to cover my work for me today just for today and then in that way i can get some work done without really um stress out okay that's my san francisco picture so the picture i asked this guy to draw for me um it's a very cute cartoon of uh, private body parts <laughs> i'm not gonna show you here because honestly i don't know what's the rule of youtube i want to make sure all my video is kids friendly honestly i think it should be fine but just for in case because i don't know the rules i'm not gonna put it on the channel here um 
but I want to share with you so bad because Sky is really talented and she made um, a very cute picture that matches the theme of um, Alex's film. What's ironic about that is it was a film supposed to, to discuss about the shame over our sexuality, all that our sexuality stuff like that um but here i don't even sure if i can share those stuff with you okay i'm done with framing the picture it took me a while um because i can't quite get the size right but anyway it's done i'm going to change and then get ready to leave now because it's almost two o'clock okay let's go do that i changed outfit already but one more thing i realized i forgot to oh, let's i forgot to add credit for sky because she was the one made this thing so i want to make sure she is credited properly so i need to tape her social media handle on the back of the picture and also the picture frame a uh, label printer is very handy i use it to print a lot of stuff um i use the label printer print out this guy's name handle like that so i can just tape in the back of the picture just had a dinner on the way back home um, every time when I go out to meet people especially if there's like people I don't know I always get a lot of anxiety but I find since I start going to a lot of film festival I'm gradually a little bit get used to it um, a lot of time all I try to do is just be present and listening you know a lot of time when you caught up in the anxiety you kind of thinking like this what should I say? Um, am I saying the wrong thing? Um, all this is awkward. But I find it's very interesting and very funny that everybody is thinking similar thing, at least most of the people. So you don't really need to worry about being awkward. If you meet new people and got nothing to say, I think it's very helpful for you, especially go on uh, filmmaker meetup um, just be present be the listener kind of like let people let other people to worry about it and then oftentimes they will ask you uh, questions to kind of start the topic with you and then we today we actually we talked a lot about film about films we liked the, for the past year and also controversial opinions about film like a film that everybody loves but we don't like or films most people don't like but you really like it things like that and then one of the filmmaker also shared his opinion about how to kind of get script reviewed in order to improve his script i'm gonna share this with you okay one second so the problem when you have a screenplay written that getting feedback from people is if you get feedback from people who has no idea how to write a screenplay, how film works, 
you only can take their feedback in terms of when they read the script, how they feel, what it make them feel, or what they didn't feel, and then which of those feedbacks are very helpful. But you can't really take a feedback if they have their idea of how to write and tell you what they think you should write because they are technically、um, don't know how story structure works, and then、um, you are the one that who. Uh, actually, putting effort to learn about writing story. So, from people who is purely like an audience, you can still take a feedback from them,、uh, treat them like an audience, see how they emotionally responding to the story. And then the second group of people that you can ask feedback from are your filmmaker friends that who knows how to write a script but who. Might not being very honestly with you,、um, they are the people who kind of hold back a little bit because they don't want to hurt your feeling. But they will give you some feedbacks if it's very important. Those are places that you can look for feedback.、Um, but he said he actually going to getting script coverage in different、uh, places. Basically, you pay for it.、Uh, go to professional website have. Professional script reader read and then give you feedback and the score and the, what they think it's good, what they think it should be improved.、Um, I have done that before、um, for my last script and then based on the feedback, I have a lot of changes for my screenplay. The price is not cheap; it's gonna be around a hundred dollar or a little bit less, but.、Um, Because they don't know who you are, and then they are professional writer. They will give you very honest opinion. Back then, what I did is I only looking for one、uh, feedback and then start making change because I don't want to spend that much money on it. I thought he made a very good point that he used surely like looking for several,、um, like five of different platforms to get the review, and then in that way he will get very different review. Uh, for the same script, basically, if all the reviews are pointing at the same problem, he know that's something he has to change.、Uh, if someone's review is very far away and different than the other four review, then that might be something that he doesn't need to really worry about.、It. Still, can be something that he can consider about, but not something that he should bend in head. Against the wall, trying to figure out. I hope that makes sense. I never done this. Like spend more money to get multiple reviews from those website. Um, but I think I'm gonna do this for my screenplay that I'm working on right now. Good place getting coverage. Uh, it's like a Screencraft, a Coverly, and then things like a Blacklist. Um, there's a lot of different website can do this kind of thing. If you are interested, I'll leave a link down below so you can check those sites out. Yeah, so that was kind of fun. A couple of hours chatting、uh, made me learn a lot of stuff. But right now it's very late already. Um, cause the drive was crazy. I basically spent two hours on the road. Almost eight o'clock. I still want to work on my the third task that I, on my list today, which is. Um, honestly, I already forgot what I was thinking. Oh, okay. So,、um, set up a planner for YouTube. My battery is about to die. I'm gonna change the battery, and I'll tell you more. Okay. So, if you watch my earlier video about my yearly goals,、um, I'm gonna put it again right here.、Uh, it's the video that I shared with you the idea of splitting the year to. Four different session, and I'm going to spend three months as one session to work on only one goal, and I'm going to form a habit or a structure for that one goal in order to achieve it. So basically, right now,、uh, this year's goal, I have a goal of making 52 YouTube video, which is one video a week this year, and I've never done that before. I have a problem with my YouTube is I can't figure out a way to be very consistent. My film stuff, I had a lot of film festival and the film release back then, and then I have a day job and I have my screenwriting. All of those things are get in the way of being consistent. Since I have an achievement goal, which is 52 long form video this year, I wanna try to use first three months of this year to figure out. How to find the balance? If I can figure out a routine that can help me 
produce YouTube on the side without impact on my other work, and as well as be able to produce YouTube video one week ahead of time. What I've been doing is every time I have a last minute idea and I make the YouTube video and I post the very last minute, sometimes it's not even on time. Maybe I'll push several days. Maybe I supposedly want to post on Friday and I end up post on Sunday. So here's some update. January, I post um, video every week, um, but that was a huge struggle. I had a lot of work. I got promoted again, so there's a lot of like transaction period, a lot of me meetings, just unusual stuff. But I was able to produce a video every week, but I totally felt burned out and a struggle until uh, last week, last couple weeks, my hours is cutting down a little bit from day job. And I was able to finish making the video away before the posting time. Right now, I set the posting time as Saturday morning around six o'clock. Um, that's what I'm trying to aim for. So right now I'm able to schedule my post ahead of the time. I see that as a progress. So now I identify a problem is a lot of time I'm making last minute video because I have a last minute idea. So today what I'm going to do is to make a calendar and basically a system that I can listing out all the ideas that's in mind and then start planning them on the calendar. Hopefully in that way, I can start working on those videos earlier. So my February goal is to be able to make all of those YouTube video one week ahead of the time. And hopefully I can try my best to stick to that and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I don't know if I'm talking about YouTube stuff will make you feel, is this cute? I got from Hawaii. So I'm going to check out a couple of content planning website that I heard and then see how that goes. That's what I'm going to work on now. Okay, just one more time. Isn't this nice? I just really liked it. All right, I kind of um, check out the website and uh, picked uh, the tool that I want to use to do my content planning. Um, I've been trying to do this kind of thing back then many many times but never worked out for me but I think it's just because I was not sure what I was doing and I don't know what I'm looking for in terms of planning I don't know I'm gonna see how it goes I already set up everything and then now I'm going to uh, call my mom because it's the weekend and then I try to call her once a week um, yeah let's see what she's up to oh booby All right, so I only had a quick phone call with my mom uh, because it's pretty late. Um, right now it's actually already almost 9.30 uh, and Poopy is right here. She's kind of sleepy, very snuggly right now. I know, I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready, get into the bed to read this book. I'm not going to read uh, the other book I borrowed from library because there's no way I can finish it today, so I'm just going to return the book and then wait until my turn to read it again. Um, I kind of made a mistake of rent two book, not rent, borrowed the two book simultaneously and then I wasn't able to finish the second one on time, which it's kind of not so good because other people are waiting for the book too. So tonight I'm going to read my boundary book. Um, I'm reading this book first right now because um, I think it will help me find the balance between uh, my writing, YouTube, and my day job. So that's what I'm working on. And, uh, and also because of the promotion, I want to make sure at the day job I'm doing a good job and uh, I don't bring day job stuff home either um, because I find myself sometimes lack of boundary, want to respond to email uh, and then respond to message about the day job. Poopy just keep poop. 
EP. So I think that's very important. Whether you have a day job or not, as long as you, if you are an artist, it's very important for us to have a boundary to figure out the structure that works for us, that having that time dedicate to our mind space to nourish our creativity and they have other time for all the stuff that's chaotic that's necessary that's more business side of stuff same goes to filmmaking as well um, because when you are making a film uh, there's a creativity aspect of stuff which is very fun the boring part the part I dislike the most is the business side the side of you know, meetings, looking for the uh, distributors, um, negotiating email back and forth, uh, go to film festival, social, all of those stuff are stuff that tend to be a little bit messy and give you um, a lot of headache. And then the questions how you can keep doing a good job with all of those producing side of things at the same time, still have that space, the mind space to write, to Keep making film and I think that's very very hard for a lot of um, indie filmmakers because we tend to put in a position of we have to do a lot of different things simultaneously whereas if you are working with a bigger production then you will have different departments and then have your own assistant to help you do different things so you have more space to focus on your creation but before we get there we need to figure out how to set boundary okay so i'm going to go to bed now and i'm going to read a little bit in the bed um thank you so much for watching today and if you are interesting and that you haven't checked out my previous planning video um you can click right here this is my newest planning video thank you for watching again and be patient, be present, stay creative. I'll see you next week. Bye. Beep.